Hello, um, this is the third episode in the multiplayer tutorial and we're back at trying to make this work so I'm just going to start this over and what we did last time was call a function called connect to server which basically connects to the server. Um, take out variable smartbox or smartbox client because that will be defined above all these things here and check the status text that that's the text that says connected and we'll put it right in here and we did not make a function we did not make this button it's called but check as a button check to check to see if the IP you've entered is well if that IP has a server so we will just say root dot but check that on release equal to connect to save and since you want to connect with an IP you take this from here I'll put that there so it will call the connect to server function with whatever text you had in your IP text. And then in the function where it says connect to server to IP, you just copy that and put variable IP string is equal to the IP. That's what I mean. And connection is equal to handle connection. And the connection success connected easily. And to IP. Okay, we just want to um, fix this uh, format, this our oh, way without using the format button. So we'll just select all of it and press tab. So that will make it a better. Or if you did tab too many times, just hold shift and tab to go back. Okay, so it says in full red box internal event receive so we're ready just save that and if we run it now it says connected let's try typing happens well instead of making this a function just take this from here put this there wrote that button check that on release is equal to function <clears throat> and then inside here we just make this text be written this is Okay, so it's not seen connecting. If we try the local host, it says connecting. And then it's supposed to connect to whatever. Oh, it's supposed to say root.ip.txt. Dot text. Just make sure this is root.ip. Yeah. And let's just say trace root dot ip dot text. So let's try entering local host again. Login. Okay, connected. Please login. Message received. And let's look at this. So that works. But if we do something like that and press login, it'll say connecting. And then if you wait a long while, it would say can't connect. Localhost works. As well, as, oh, you are already connected to localhost. So you have not disconnected. 
but 127.0.0.1 is the same thing as local host. So let me tell you that again. So try 127.0.0.1. Login, connected, please log in. And this is where you enter your username. And just log in. So we have that. Let's try one more time. If we put in a random thing, it will say connecting. But if you put in the of course, connected, please log in. So that works. Um, we want to make this not be invisible so down here login is equal to blue we don't need to do any of that so it'll always show unless you say unless you enter your id and connect it please login so now you can connect, you can enter your IP name and connect to it. Now, just to fix up a few of these things, this is our login button, so you want to change that to a connect. So you'll see. Just right click, click duplicate and call this connect button. And you can go inside this and change it up however you'd like. So say connect. And if you're stretching it about, you want to say anti alias for readability. So just, we have connect here. And just click on this button, click swap, and connect button. So this will connect up here. And down. Just put this down here. Oh, just fix it up. And it's uh, IP address. And enter user. So now enter IP address, local host, connect, connect it, please log in, enter username, and we enter the username and log in. Now, if we check the code, whenever a connection lost happens, it goes to and stop connect again. And this is what happens when you show the login. So, oh, all right, let's start from the top. Stop show menu is equal to false. It imports it that goes to a place mark of super, which is if you went into the public publish settings, this uh, API we imported. And these are just what, stage width and stage height. We will leave this here now, but we won't need it in the future. This disabler, so just take out that. Global that is busy. That is very important to leave that event queue. That's also important. 
so everything will be so you'll be sending data all the time i guess and show login is equal to false that starts up which is this thing dot here but we don't need this so after we've um call the smart fox which is our variable and we call a smart fox client is equal to new smart fox client that's what we use to make this server work and we just made a port number and call it 9339 which is the default port for smart fox server and the zone is simple chat you don't want to change this, so just leave that a simple check. Uh, button check. What this does when you press the button, it makes a variable called IP, and that will be equal to what was ever in this text box. And then we'll say status text, which is this thing, we'll say connecting, so we'll let the user know that. Is connected and then smart fox which is a variable we defined up there that on connection a built-in IP built-in API is equal to handle connection um, so debug to just take out that because that's all these things in this output and then we say smart fox that connect IP and port which is whatever the IP was and the port is 9339 and on handle connection, if it is a success, if you uh, connect it successfully, the status text will change from connected to connected, please login. And show login is equal to true, which is this, but we don't need that as well. But we don't, don't take that out. And but not login on release is equal to send login and status text. If handle connection was false, meaning that you could not connect, the status text would change from connecting to can't connect, but that actually takes a while. And in the show login function, it sets um, if show login is equal to true, then well, selection has set focus to login not text, so this text will become available for the user to type in instead of you having to click on it. Like click and click from each one. Once it is connected, it'll automatically go down there. So you can just enter using the one time to lock it. And so we can take all these things here. Show window is just a function that you might use in the future. And same as hide window, you can read up on those to check for yourself. That's just basic attach movie clips. And on connection lost, go to and stop connect. Uh, so then handle connection button not on release is equal to send login so when you release the login button meaning press it and then release this function will call and it'll say if global at if global at is busy is equal to false which it is false up here and global is a variable that can be used on all frames of the game but you need to access it as global you can't say is busy alone so if that is equal to false, then Smartbox will log in to the zone, which is simple chat, and it will use the login text, which is your username. So that's what you use as your username. And there's a difference between connecting to the server and logging in. Connecting is connecting, so you can be connected. It exists. The server is on, and then login in is to log in, I guess. Like when you start your computer or laptop and then when you log into your account. So that's basically how it is. And now we're going to work on a few of these things before we change them around. But we're out of time. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.
Don't forget to save it and save as as much.